Number four, kill your sin before it kills you and who and what you love. Paul says here that Jesus Christ died for our sins so we could put our sin to death. Because Jesus died for sin, we could put sin to death. And I'll tell you, in the grace of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it's possible. Right? First time I saw porn, I was a little boy, I was in the restroom, I don't know, going to the bathroom looking for a Band-Aid or something, and I opened a drawer and there's a magazine like I'd never seen. I grew up in a neighborhood where it was common, where the boys in their fort had magazines that they'd ripped off from their dad. Again, this was the days before the internet. Things are even harder today, more difficult. I fully, fully, fully acknowledge that. I was never addicted to porn, but I was exposed to porn. And at age 19, when God saved me, that was one of the first deep convictions he gave me. Don't go there. So put it to death because Jesus died for it. And I would say, fight and keep fighting. And if you struggle or fail or fall, get up and fight again. This is a lifelong battle for some, but it doesn't have to be a lifelong series of failed battles. And some of you will say, it's too late, I did it again, I'm already halfway there, I may as well see it through. No, repent at any point. Repent at every point turn around, go back, start over, come clean, get help, talk to God, talk to Christian leaders, talk to good friends, be honest, get the help you need. It's never too late. 